What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here, and you know what time it is, Evil Dead Rise is out, and horror fans, Evil Dead fans out there, you all can rejoice, because this is definitely a worthy entry into the Evil Dead franchise, and today you're going to hear my positives, the negatives, and then the rating, and then I'll send you all home, and I'm going to keep this strictly non-spoiler, I want more people and everybody to go out and get the chance to check out this movie, I will be doing a spoiler review and probably a re-ranking of all the films, and I'll have that video later down the line, so let's do this, roll it! Evil Dead Rise is the latest entry in the Evil Dead franchise. This one's written and directed by Lee Cronin, and this one follows a kind of central story with a mom who has three children and her sister, and there is, she lives in a high-rise, like, kind of apartment building. The sister comes to visit and spend some time with her and stuff like that, and spend some time with her, you know, nieces and nephew and everything, and then what ensues, what happens is they find the Necronomicon, and unleash the demons from the book and deadites and all that kind of stuff and gore fest plenty. So let's get right into the positives right away is that I like that this film is very much a kind of spiritual sequel to the 2013 one. It has the same tone, the same vibe. It's very nihilistic, very gore heavy and got some really gruesome scenes, but it also has some comedy elements in it as well and stuff that it harkens back to like the previous films like Army of Darkness and The Evil Dead and even Dead by Dawn. So that's what I like about this film is it has all the elements that you want from an Evil Dead film but with this one is they add a new setting. There's a new setting so that adds in new situations, new elements and new things you can do. You know what I mean when you have sequences like said in an elevator or in a bathroom or in a kitchen you know all those elements are new things that we haven't experienced yet in this franchise i also must give it up to Alyssa sutherland she plays the lead deadite the mother and she's bonkers man she gets to do some of the most amazing stuff and the, just the design of her character and like the sadistic smile like the contacts that they use for her eyes and everything and she's got like this really new red hair because she recently just dyed her hair so her hair is just really really deep vibrant red and everything and man just like I said the look of her dead eye and the scenes that she gets to do the lines that she gets to deliver man she gets really to go balls to the wall and I believe is by far the standout performance in this film. And this is a film too that keeps you on your toes and I love the theater experience because that really helps out in terms of the sound design, the sound effects and even the music. Everything is just creepier and you know really has a stronger atmosphere and I think this film like I wouldn't I wasn't saying like I wouldn't enjoy it if it was streaming cuz this was supposed to be released last September on HBO Max. I still would have really enjoyed it on streaming but this is a film that I think just with that theater experience, it elevates all the stuff in the film, you know what I mean? It really makes it more potent and it just hits harder. Another positive is of course the gore factor and like the deadite designs. We got some new deadite designs in here. The gruesome factor of it, they really go for it. They don't let loose, you know what I mean? It's not like they're like, oh, let's not, let, let's not go all the way, nothing like that. No, it is very much, like I said, an amazing spiritual sequel to the Evil Dead 2013 one with that gruesome, nasty gore, that grimy stuff that really makes you feel like dirty and everything. And then, like I said, even has some cool elements where it calls back to the Evil Dead and Dead by Dawn and even Army of Darkness. So that's what I love about this film is it has, like I said, pulls from all all the all the films before it previously and really this one is its own thing it's a new thing it's got new characters a new element the way it takes place it's kind of the same setup you find the book you know what i mean and you unleash the deadites like that is kind of the same setup but just the ride it's they're all a completely different awesome ride but i like that factor of the evil dead films is you're always going to get gore you're always going to get crazy you know freaking one-liners cool deadite designs like all those elements are prominent in every single film in this franchise i also like our central story and like theme of you know kind of you know motherhood and like you know accepting responsibility that's kind of the strong main crux theme of the story for our character our main protagonist and I like that, you know what I mean? That's a simple theme that a lot of people could grab onto because, you know, 
being a parent or even taking care of a child or even just taking care of a sister or a family member, you know what I mean? Being responsible. It's hard sometimes to, you know, have to sacrifice or put someone else before yourself. So that's kind of like a theme that is very prominent for our main protagonist. And I like that. It's something easy to grab onto. And this was basically almost the perfect horror film. And clearly right now I can stand tell you right now sitting here that this is my favorite horror film that we've had so far this year. It's been kind of a, like a little weak year, you know, not too many, too many great ones. But so far, yes, this one is my favorite of this year. And let's get right into some mixed and negatives because there's just a couple things. And I think mainly it's not like a huge negative with me. It's a minor one. There are some elements of CGI in this film and some CGI moments and it just was like, eh, like CGI blood. There's a little bit stuff that kind of a little bit, but it's not like awful. It didn't like hurt, hurt it too much, but it's like I said, took me out of it for a couple seconds just because I've seen so many amazing practical effects in this franchise done really, really well that I was like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, they scapegoated it a little bit, tiny bit. That was it. And then another one for me is that I find that the characters are some of them like they do certain things where I just didn't really uh, didn't really grab onto it. I didn't really agree with what they were doing. I wouldn't say the characters are stupid or nothing like that. I would just say I felt I felt more of a connection to some of the other characters in the other franchises. And of course, that's we have a huge connection to Ash. Ash is a very prominent character that we all love. You know, I have a huge connection to Mia's character, you know, in Evil Dead 2013. That's, like I said, one of my favorite theater experiences and my favorite horror film of all time. So there's just more connections I have with those characters. But I feel like over time, watching Evil Dead rise again, and I will be going and taking a second trip to the theater to check this out again, that I think over time with more watches, I'll get more attached and more connected to these characters. And that really won't be like a mixed or negative thing anymore. So let's nail down this rating. We got to settle down with a rating for this film. And for me, Evil Dead Rise is going to sit at an 8.5 out of 10. Yes, this is a very strong film, very worthy of being in the Evil Dead franchise and one that I highly highly suggest that you go out to the theaters and check out because it's going to make like i said everything more potent the sound effects the thrills the kills everything will be much more effective for you and the atmosphere is really there and like i said if gore's your thing and you're a gore hound you're going to be very happy with this film so yes i'm happy to tell you all out there that this is a slam dunk amazing film and like i said easily so far my favorite horror film of this year but these are just my thoughts and my opinions on evil dead rise that means i would love to hear from all of you in the comments section drop your ranking of the franchise tell me your thoughts on evil dead rise but please keep it spoiler free in the comments because this is the spoiler free video we will eventually be doing a spoiler one you know and like i said when i do that video i'll do my re-ranking for the franchise and then of course in that one feel free to spoiler spoil away and everything so but most importantly be sure to like and subscribe and have a safe and happy day. Peace out.